from the Penn Libraries. at people going on the job market the following semester and looking for a creative way to set their job application apart. Um, we were aiming at people starting their dissertation and trying to come to terms with like the chaos of their own ideas. We were also aiming at people actively networking and uh, eager to practice their pitching skills and grad students in the humanities especially. Although it's worth noting that we actually ended up having people from sociology, political science, social work, bioengineering, uh, in addition to literature and art history students. So once we had gathered information from all the participants about things like whether they had familiarity with any media editing, or um, whether they owned equipment, or what they wanted to get out of the actual workshop, um, we realized that we were kind of dealing with two kinds of participants for the workshop. Um, one kind of student really wanted to produce a product by the end of the day, a short video to talk about his or her research. Um, and the other, the other type of student was really um, looking to maybe explore, learn a little bit more, tinker a little bit more with some of the media production um, tutorials that we were going to offer. So we decided to split the group into two groups. Um, one that would be focused really on producing that short video and then one that was a little bit more exploratory um, about looking into some of the issues that surround digital and media scholarship. So the purpose of my workshop was, was basically uh, to create a three minutes video uh, uh, in a real sense of the word, not only thinking but rather uh, creating uh, a new kind of communication of their work. We divided the, the, the workshop into parts, morning and afternoon. Uh, the first part was to me the most important because they had uh, to share, first of all, their specific fields of, uh, of a study and then also to share a kind of brainstorming and comparing how to uh, translate their ideas, their kind of, of knowledge to a visual idea. So with the students who were working um, with, um, with me for the day, we started out um, just with a kind of um, kaleidoscope of different kinds of media projects. We cycled through, we had a list, a link, uh, like 25 different links of different kinds of things people were doing with media related to um, research. Um, and so we just cycled through a lot of stuff. This was really important for the students um, who are interested in just getting a sense of what is out there and also what kind of technical requirements one needs to produce something of a certain caliber. So um, it was really a kind of literacy workshop actually to look at um, a, a polished video and say okay here's exactly what they did. This one was a little more complicated. This one actually didn't need that much um, you know, production skills. Um, and that really helped it kind of excite uh, everyone in the room. We also asked for participants' evaluation at the end of the workshop, and uh, we were actually very happy to find out that an overwhelming number of them would rate the workshop's quality very high. The word inspiring would appear repeatedly. The final projects, which finally were three, were really different, uh, one from each other. Uh, it meant that every student was able to create what they needed to create a specific uh, result, okay? uh, a specific product, if you want. I think what we realized is that it would be really helpful to have one day just to get people brainstorming, just to get a, give, give people a lay of the land, show them what's out there, get them thinking about what their own um, 
research could be in a, in a media format. Um, and maybe just spend a, a morning just getting people thinking. And then give them some time after that brainstorming session to think on what they might want to do and what specifically they're going to actually try to accomplish. Um, and then come back maybe in a week and that's where you can start the real production and the real honing. One of the things we've been discussing is a course introduction video production workshop, hopefully in partnership with the Center of Teaching and Learning. Uh, another option would be an audio podcast production workshop, uh, possibly involving part of the Annenberg grad student team that's already producing the amazing 3620 podcast series. And uh, a third option uh, worth considering would be a format adapted to undergrad students' needs. And as to the existing concept, uh, Camera is very interested in repeating the workshop. Yeah, a lot of very exciting possibilities and we're looking forward to see a lot of similar initiatives uh, develop on campus in the future.